Good morning. Beautiful day. Monday. Beep beep. Yep. Woke up to this today. The road is being paved, I guess, or graded. Um, but there's a new, yeah. Like, usually you get the beep, 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 beep when something's fucking backing up or whatever the fuck they're doing. But now, yeah, there's a new sound. There's a honk, 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 honk. And it's like every, I don't know, 15 seconds. Oh, there's one. Smaller one. Anyways, um, yeah, so that woke me up a little bit early. But it's a beautiful day, so I'll get out there, have a shower, then get out there. And, um, yeah. Got some more sub bread, and then I'm on a sub kick. Although, I went for sub sandwich bread, and these are like twice as long as the ones that the guy had showed me the other week there. Um, but she said that's all that they had, and I've got some more in the fridge um, that look even longer than these ones. So I don't know what the hell they did with their sub sandwiches, but they got rid of the bread and replaced it with my long bread. But, oh well, I can cut them up into two and save them. Yummy. Me, me. Okay, so just to prove how how bad that was, I just walked from the corner over there to here, thinking I was recording. Um, I almost just got hit again by a sheriff's department van. Um, it was the closest one. Um, I'm like literally vibrating with adrenaline. The other, I, the other two that happened, um, they weren't uh, like I didn't get an adrenaline hit. But this one was like, this one was bad. Um, like I, I don't, I don't go until that walk light comes on, um, and I watch. I mean, obviously, I've almost been hit fucking twice. Um, so uh, it turned white, and I started to cross, and the sheriff's department van was coming right at me. Well, sorry, no, he started to move to roll, uh, and he was turning, of course. Um, and he was kind of coming at me, but I, I, the sun was shining on his windshield, uh, so I couldn't see if he could see me. Um, and I started to get the sense that he was coming at me, and I stopped. I mean, I can't, I can't fucking run. Like I can't, I can't fucking, you know, jump out of the way. Um, and he, even though he had another, a passenger, another sheriff's deputy, I guess, um, neither of them saw me. And um, yeah, uh, it was fucking mad. Um, my friend Larry had suggested that I take my phone out and record all my crossings because, uh, but I'm actually, I'm down this street here, down Aberdeen, there's like a flashing yellow light and I think I'm changing my whole fucking, yeah, I'm changing my whole routine with that crossing Regent Street because that's fucking ridiculous. And Larry said, yeah, I should record them and I wasn't recording it. So. I'm really thinking about it until I got, well, even when I got to the intersection, I was like, oh, gotta be careful, someone may hit you. And I'm, like, I'm, like, I swear to fucking God, like, if I could find, like, it scared the shit out of that sheriff's department guy and his, his, his buddy that was riding with him, like, he was like, I'm sorry, man, I'm so sorry, he said, uh, I said, that was the third time in two weeks that um, I was almost hit, and he said something about, said something about the pole, was obstructing his view, and I, I don't, like I wasn't behind the, 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 the pole that holds up the street, like, kind of, like, I wasn't behind it or anything like that, so I don't know, I don't know what he meant, I don't know if, I don't know, maybe he thinks, he thought it's a pedestrian that's, like, standing there, I don't know, but, yeah, I'm gonna go to City Hall. Alright, so I'm just about at City Hall over here, I'm not gonna record while I'm in there, I don't, I'd have to hold my phone, like, even, Maybe I'll just hold it down or something. I'm not going to post it. We'll see what happens. Hey. hey. How are you today? Good, how are you? Uh, I almost got hit by a sheriff department man. Right. So. Who can I talk to? Uh, this is the third time in two weeks at Regent Street 
and Sobeys, McLeod. Right. On the walk light. You know, almost in there. The last time with witnesses, this time I'm wondering about. That's super exciting. Sure. Right yeah, <laughs> like kind of going on a drill. Yeah, that's uh. And yeah, they were, sorry, they were apologetic. They, when they were coming out, like I think the, like I couldn't see if you could see me because the sun was on his right. windshield. Yeah. And he said something about, like a pole obstructing his view, but I don't know. So you think you'd be more careful not. Anyways, yeah, we're just tourism here, like the yeah, Federation yeah. Center. I'll take note of the service center. You can make a complaint or do whatever you need to do. Thanks. Really sorry that happened to you, though. Oh, okay. I've been crossing here for years. Yeah. I moved back from Vancouver six years ago, and I always crossed there in just yeah. in the last two weeks. No, yeah, that's really cool. Not sure what they're doing. Elevator here, and we'll send you right down to the service center. Sweet. And you should be able to talk to someone there. If they're not able to help you with whatever you need done, they will direct you from there. Um, when you get down. Hi there. Hi. Um, I almost got hit by a sheriff's department van. Oh, yeah. And it's the third time in two weeks. Courthouse, though. But wouldn't I want to talk to somebody at the city about the situation that's happening at that corner, or? I mean, those, those like the sheriff's guys, they, they knew, like, and he apologized and everything. But I just wanted to come here and let the city know, because it's the third time in two weeks. Okay, so past the blue wall, there's a set of double doors. Go all the way through, there's a desk to your right. Thank you. You're welcome. Yes, sir. I just well, almost got hit by a sheriff's yeah, department van. By a what? Sheriff's so department van. At, at the sheriff's department. Oh, right next door. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah you should I, maybe go over there and talk well, to them. Well, I, I talked to the guys that almost hit me. This okay. was at Regent and, and Cloud coming out of Sobeys. Yes. And it's the third time in two weeks that that's happened. Yeah, what's... The, the last two times... Not the same people, I hope. No, no. <laughs> the last, well, that, the last two times that it happened, there was a witness with Sorry, me. Just trying to figure out and what I was crossing okay, from the Sobe side to, like, go over to Beaver. Yeah, in, crossing the street over to McLeod where they yeah, cross okay. it, so <clears throat> and a car came and she just didn't see us. Like yeah. she just wasn't looking and the same thing happened again. This time I was crossing from McLeod over to go to Sobeys. Yeah. The sheriff's department van was there and he came out and I've been cautious, <laughs> obviously, because of the last two times. What, 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 do they, what do they say? They just don't see you? He... That's a huge intersection. Right? I mean, he was stopped in the middle, like, because almost hitting me and I said that's the third time and he said something about... He said something about the pole, but I couldn't see how, like, I mean, I'm, I wasn't hiding behind the pole. I wasn't, I was out in the intersection. Yeah. Like, when that light turns green or sounds, whatever, they should sounds be. sounds pretty lame to me, man. I think he just was inattentive. I mean, that's a, that's, that's probably one of the best intersections as far as visibility and lit and wide open. And you know what? They're not, what I think is, is that they're, they're not watching the pedestrian. They're just watching for that light yeah. to go green. This probably is impossible, yeah. but is there any way that that turn arrow doesn't go green yeah, until yeah, the right walk here. light is off? No, yeah, they can't. They can't conflict. Okay. Even in a if they got hit by lightning, they don't, all the lights just flash, so everybody stops. Right. Um, I can get the I can get them to check at the traffic guys, but I mean that. I mean, there's nothing. I mean, there's nothing wrong with the lights. Yeah, like, you, you not... got bad luck. You got a schlep rock cloud over here or something, man. I, I, <laughs> I, moved, I moved back from Vancouver in 2012, and I've been crossing that intersection, and in the last two weeks. Yeah. Just in the last okay. weeks. I was near there today. I was one one block shy of that. I go walk every lunch. Me and my coworker. And I didn't make it to. We go to Sobeys a long time. He likes sushi, so he goes there and we get sushi. But uh, I, 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 personally, I think that's probably one of the Best one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Now, uh, the one, uh, I've walked the one here, Queen at Westmoreland, and uh, you want to watch the people turn and right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's wondering they, if he they, can what they do, I tell you what they do sometimes, the is they, they look, they're looking at the countdown, right. the, and they want to turn. Right. So they're watching the countdown. They know that, well, as long as that countdown's going, I'm going to be able to catch this light. Right. So, yeah. but I mean, so they, I'm, I'm guilty of it, too. I watch that. I, it gives me, okay, it's at 13. I'm, I'm four seconds away. I got lots of time, right? Like my only remedy now is to completely change my route and walk down Regent Street to Aberdeen and press the walking because no one. I mean, people may be turning there, but it's not the same busy turn that that yeah. McLeod into Sobeys is. Yeah. And that's the only thing. Or go up to Regent and cross. Yeah, I can, I can, I can, I can check the signals, but uh, I mean, 
mean, we, we follow uh, Transportation Canada's uh, fire system signals, like if it's five lanes, it gives you 17 seconds. If right. it's only four lanes, you get 13. Should should the the noise be going? Because there's never, like when you press it, like some of them downtown, there's the beep, beep, or the whatever noise it the makes. Big, the big noise you usually have to manually activate. Is that noise going? You should, no, no, I've never heard it. You should hear that little ee, that weird noise, because, I mean, if you were visually impaired, you'd have to know when the light was changing. I don't even think I've ever heard that. Yeah, no, it's, 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 a, it's a low hum. I'm hard to hear, too, but it's, it's a low hum. You could, you'd could be able to hear it if you were blind. But some of them have a, a louder... If you, oh yeah, but that's that's somebody's physically activating that, and I don't even know how to do it myself. Oh really? Oh, I hate it. I, I wish they shut them all off. Well, I think that would be safer for me. Maybe if well, they if they're hearing something, I don't know. Maybe yeah, they could have their windows shut. I don't know what blasting. what the purpose yeah, of that activated is uh, uh, with that big noise, but it, it's physically activated. Right. So Regent uh, McLeod, eh? Yeah. I can get them to check it. Yeah, 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 I don't think I don't think it's the lights. I think it's the drivers. I I I think that's what you're up against, sir. I, yeah. I th those that's that's a nice intersection, actually. You know, far as some of the some of the intersections go, but okay. ever since I was young, <clears throat> I grew up in the city. I was in Vancouver for 20 years, and moving back, drivers here are almost as bad as they are in Vancouver. Yeah. My my thing about Frederick and drivers is that every five years they should make everybody who has a license because people in this town are crazy. And everybody knows it, like, right? You're not. Oh, yeah, no, I, I, and then I think with the flood. I'm from here, and I even know well, yeah, yeah. some of the drivers are bad. And, and, and then when the, I think after the flood, like the other day when I crossed at McLeod, there was a red light for them, and people still were blocking the Sobeys entrance on a red light. Just to, it's just, yeah. yeah. So anyway, thank no, you. I can, I'll absolutely get the traffic guys to check them in. Okay, thank you very much. If it's not too much trouble, walk the next block. If it's the that's, same. No, no, that's what I'm going to have to do, man. Yeah. 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 All right. Thanks. So there you have it. Nothing can be done. I'm kind of speechless. But, yeah, I understand. So that was my trip downtown. I had to stop in at Sobeys. I've been kind of debating with myself to talk to management at Sobeys to see if they'd care to do some type of initiative to remind their drivers to watch for pedestrians when they're leaving that corner. I doubt there's anything they can do, but I might as well try it. It's, there's nothing the city can do. And it's the drivers, so the drivers just got to be reminded somehow to watch out. I mean, I feel safer crossing any fucking street in the city than that one right now. And hopefully you'll hear it on the recording that the city officially even agrees with me that the drivers are fucking horrible here. I mean, all the drivers know it. But, you know, I don't want to become fucking street pizza because some fucking Ferguson driver has decided or it's just made it a habitual habit to not, you know, obey traffic laws and look for pedestrians. So I'll try and do this this way. You're going to be kind of looking at an angle, but the winds are looking good. So the Sobeys guy was actually pretty decent. He said that there's been lots of accidents. Three people were, three pedestrians were hit at that intersection right over there. Uh, last year, he said, where the, you can hear on the video of the city official, he's saying that, oh, it's like one of the most visible, safest intersections in the city. Beg to differ. I am actually going to go put a cry out on Facebook. Uh, anybody who's ever had an incident, whether you've almost been hit or hit, uh, to get a hold of me. And, um, yeah, we're going to escalate this fucking thing because that was not fucking cool. Like, it was not fucking cool at all. Obviously. Like, no one wants to get hit by a fucking car. I've gone my whole fucking life without getting hit by a fucking car. And I'm not going to be fucking killed by a Fredericton fucking dumbass driver. But anyways, so, the Sobeys manager said that he would talk to the city as well. Um, I proposed an initiative like, you know, reminding their customers to watch for pedestrians when they're at the intersection. I mean, there's, there's fuck all people can do, because it's these fucking drivers. It's, it's, it's fucking... 
I'm sorry. I know I probably piss people off when I say it, but I mean, fuck you. Like, <laughs> when a city official can agree with you that drivers here are fucking horrible, and then you're talking to a person that's like a hundred meters away from city hall, and they also agree. I mean, it's not a fucking secret. It's fucking stupid. Oh, yeah, so, now, instead of crossing down there, I'm walking all the way up to this intersection. I mean, it's not a long way, but still, I mean, it is my street. But I can usually take a shortcut through there, which I can't, you know, I'm not going to do now, because I have to either walk all the way up to this one or down another block, uh, down Regent Street to another one. I mean, is this intersection even any safer? It's a, it's a hell of a lot more busy, but... Too bad the other side of it split off because it was this gargantuan willow tree that's probably been here for maybe 100 or 200 years. I don't know. Maybe 100 years. I don't know. I don't fuck. I don't think like willow trees. Jesus. So, after a long, crazy day, um, I know it's beautiful out. Whether it was a crazy day or not, I probably wouldn't come out for this walk, but. I had uh, done a recording the other night um, talking about getting out and uh, about how important um, it is to walk, to get out and move. Um, they say that any amount of exercise that you do in the daytime is good, it's beneficial. Obviously, the more the better, but obviously not everybody can do that. Um, but I get out about I'd say a couple hours each day, like this evening walk is, I try and time it to be about an hour to go from my place down to here, then back up to my place the other way, so it works out pretty good. Um, but yeah, it's good to get out, and uh, I like, uh, the great thing about Fredericton is the trails are awesome, fucking awesome, I love the trails in this fucking city. And, um, that helps you, I mean, Fredericton's got a lot of green here. That's one thing that people kind of talk like Moncton isn't kind of as green and St. John is, isn't as green as this because it's right by the ocean. I mean, there's parts of St. John that are, and it's not that these cities aren't beautiful either. Moncton's a pretty nice city. <laughs> it's, not, it's not the greatest, but it's, it's, like, it's, it's good. I mean, like St. John and Fredericton are just more picturesque and tour, you know, kind of tourism kind of cities um but uh yeah with Fredericton it's easy to get out you know into nature I mean sure there's kind of a busy street right behind me and there's a pretty busy street right across the river but you know <laughs> oh boy so yeah this will be the tail end of this day's video with this um craziness um I've talked about Charles LeBlanc before hey I got a motorboat out Woo! Uh, I was out on the river before you, and yeah, or, well, I don't know, it might have been out before us. But... Um, I've talked about Charles LeBlanc, a uh, video blogger in Fredericton here before. He's kind of notorious and, and famous at the same time. He uh, had some interactions with the police department, with the city hall, and he's, uh, you know, he's a, a blogger. And I actually found this, like, kind of history of, uh, I don't even think it was something he put up, but it was something somebody did. It was like a documentary on uh, Charles LeBlanc. Kind of went back. I guess he's originally from the Miramichi up in northern New Brunswick and uh, spent uh, a number of years in St. John before coming up to Fredericton. Um, and he was quite a vocal activist for the city, like different things in St. John. Um, for a long time and then I guess he decided to move up here and with the age of the internet and get himself a video camera and so now yeah he does um, you know some great rants about stuff um, he uh, 
uh, ambushes, <laughs> ambushes politicians in front of the legislature, which is just over here, which I love by. Um, yeah, he like, these are like our, our provincial politicians, so they don't just like ambush them and like ask them about abortion or um, about climate change or about fracking or, you know, and he goes right at them. Like, I mean, these people, like, they're not prepared for this. And, and a lot of them are really good. Like, a lot of the politicians talk to the guy. Um, I believe that he is actually banned from the uh, legislature property, like, by, you know, issue of arrest if he caught on there. But he still does, uh, he sets up, he's got, he walks his dog, uh, and uh, he's down there and does, like, blogs from down there. Uh, but anyway, so I was thinking about, got <laughs> fly in the fucking mouth. I was thinking about, uh, I didn't think about it, I actually contacted him and uh, said, you know, I, and I talked to him before, uh, just kind of informally, he didn't videotape me. He did take a picture of us, he took a selfie with me, and he never fucking posted it. But, oh well, I don't care, there's enough pictures of me on the internet. Um... But uh, I did send a message to him just saying, you know, like, this incident happened. There's been a couple of other incidents that I've been involved in with the same place. And, um, uh, yeah, I just wanted to sit down and talk to him about those. And um, I believe he has talked about Fredericton drivers before, so I, I, I would definitely have uh, words to say about that. And um, I'm sorry, people. I, I, I've been saying some harsh stuff about Fredericton drivers, but it's fucking true. I'm sorry. It is. It is. And everybody knows that. I was thinking about that earlier when I was walking. was just like, yeah, I think that might be the problem is that everybody knows, like from the, you know, the mayor's office to, you know, the cops to whatever. So nobody does anything. Like you, whenever you're driving with somebody and you see some crazy shit happening, you're like, oh man, that's some crazy shit. But chances are whoever you're driving with, they've probably been doing some crazy shit too that people are going, hey, that's some crazy shit. Um, you know. So I, I think it, it, it's everybody. It's, it, yeah, it's all the drivers. So I'm sorry. Probably not all the drivers. I'm sure there's some, you know, very cautious, timid drivers. Um, a friend of mine had said, well, you know, it, it's stressful driving in the city, and, and some people aren't good to that. And it's like, well, I said, I'm sorry, but then stay home. <laughs> if you're fucking nervous driving, then you're so nervous and distracted, you're going to fucking mow somebody down. Yeah, get off the road. Um, and let me walk safely on the road, and, or cross the road and walk on the sidewalk. Um, yeah, no. It's, it's, not, it's not the lights. It's not the laws it's not anything but the drivers really i mean there is some stuff they can do to those lights to make it safer i think whether they say it's a conflict or not but um yeah it's the drivers people so just please please for the love of sweet little baby jesus wrapped in his swaddling clothes watch out for pedestrians because i don't want to die 47 i'd like to live a little bit more all right you know wouldn't that be all right um, this little gazebo, man, they still haven't fixed this fountain. This has been like, actually, Alita was still alive when that fountain was vandalized, and then they covered it up, and it's supposed to be getting redone. Oh, here comes more wind. That's why I wasn't facing that direction. Um, but, uh, yeah, that gazebo's not a gazebo, it's a fountain. Still hasn't been fixed. And, yeah, I used to take Alita there. We used to walk down here in the evenings, and... There was water there, and uh, so she used to get drinks of water from the fountain. Even though I carried water with me, I did always carry water with me from my puppy. Oh yeah, 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 since the summertime, you people with walking your dogs, please, 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 for your pet, I'm asking for your pet, I'm giving puppy dog eyes, please, carry some water when you're walking your dog, no matter what size it is, whether it's a little tiny toy poodle or chihuahua. Oh.
one more thing before we sign off for the night. It's an epic blog, right, Katie? It's an epic blog. I've been laying in the sunshine. I'm getting a good little tan. Yeah, get your tan on. Um, oh, no, I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, yeah. Um, chipmunks outside. I recognize one of the four. So there was Sweetie. And then there were, or sorry, first, there were, first, yeah, first there was Sweetie. She was very early in the winter. Then there was Little Guy. And then there was kind of this one that's over from this side of the house where the fire was. Um, and uh, I think that's a female. But then the other one that was coming over uh, from the side Little Guy was on, um, that one, I said, had a little bit of a, like a wound on its butt. Dawned on me that... I believe that is one of the mothers of last year's, like she was with um, Buddy and um, Skit, Skittish one. Um, yeah, and she was the mommy of, uh, of some of those ones. So she's actually still around. Um, it's weird that she wasn't kind of around, like little guy's been around for, you know, a month and a half or more. Um, and I haven't really seen her, so I don't know if maybe she came back. Uh, she seems to be kind of competing um, with that side, like little little, uh, little guy side. Um, and of course, Sweetie has control of the backyard, so anybody who comes back there, um, she'll get rid of. She'll knock the nuts right out of your mouth, as I said, <laughs> on my birthday. And uh, Kyron and Grant uh, had a great laugh over that. Uh, Kyron says he's actually used that. I'll knock the nuts right out of your mouth. So anybody can use that, but as long as they get credit for it. Look at that pretty cat. Look at that pretty kitty. Oh my goodness. So dangerous, but so pretty. What you, the reflection on the ceiling? Huh? Peavy. So pretty, but she is evil. Hmm? You an evil kitty? Mm hmm. Because I'm an evil guy.